This section is going to be about some advanced master section settings, and let's start with resampling. In this project so far, we've been loading in 44.1 kilohertz audio files, and that'll be great if we want to burn these to an audio CD, because audio CDs are 44.1 kilohertz. However, if these were going to be a compilation of audio tracks for a movie, and it was going to go into a non-linear editor like Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, then these files would be better off saved as 48 kilohertz. So does that mean that you have to change the sample frequency of each and every one of these audio files? Well, you could, or you could do it all at once by using the resampling section of the master section. Just turn that on, then choose the sampling frequency that you want to use. For example, if you wanted to export them as 48 kilohertz, you just select 48 kilohertz right here. Or if your montage was editing 48 kilohertz files and you wanted to render them down as 44.1 kilohertz files, then you could change that value to 44.1 kilohertz. And while we're on the subject of resampling, let me show you one other thing. Every montage that you use has to have all of the audio files conformed to one specific sample frequency, or at least the same sample frequency for all of the audio files that you plan on putting into the montage. Let me show you an example of how that works. I'm going to make a new audio montage, so I'm going to go to File here, and I'm going to use the custom settings. CD compatible at 44.1 kilohertz. If you wanted your montage to be a different sample frequency, then you could choose that here. And then I'm going to drag in one 44.1 kilohertz file, and then I'm going to drag in a 48 kilohertz file, like this one. And you're going to get a message that says mismatched sample rates. You'll notice that this one file that we're trying to drag in is at 48 kilohertz. So what we'll want to do is recreate resampled files. Then when you click on OK, it's going to tell you that you'll need to save your montage first. So go ahead and click on OK. And then what I recommend that you do is that you make a new folder for this montage. So I'm just going to go forward slash and let's just call this erase me <laughs> just for the time being. And then the name of this montage can also be erase me. And then when it saves it, it's going to resample any audio file that's in that montage as the same sample rate as the montage itself, in this case, 44.1 kilohertz. But let me show you what's happened in the background here. I'm going to drag my finder down here so that we can see what's going on. Here's the erase me folder that I just made. And in that folder is the montage file itself as well as the data for those audio files that have been resampled to 44.1 kilohertz. So it's renamed the files with that 44100 at the end of the name of the audio file so that you can tell the difference between the original and the new one at the new sample rate. The other audio files that are associated with that montage are going to remain in their original positions. So when you create a new folder, it's kind of nice to be able to put all of the resampled files separately from the destinations of the original files so that you can keep the location of those two files with different sample rates in different positions. So that's resampling. Next, let's talk about dithering. 